just before the video starts make sure you go and check out my website ystech.org this is the place where you're going to be finding the latest news and everything great in technology from reviews to tutorials and much more so make sure you go check it out in the description ystech.org i'll see you there Hey guys, it is Elias from Elias Tech here and today I'm going to be showing you how to jumpstart a power supply. Um, now this is also, you know, you can, uh, when you're not able to plug in the power supply to a computer to get it uh, to start, yeah, it's not going to start at all, so <laughs> this is pretty much the only way you're going to get the power supply to start. Uh, just before we start, I have no responsibility at all, take this at your own risk, make sure you're over 18 if you're doing this, and uh, please be very careful when you're jump jump starting a power supply. It's really easy and it can be very safe if you make sure it is. So all you want to do is you want to grab the 24 pin power supply uh, that came with your uh, connector that came with your power supply. I've got a spaghetti one here so that means all the connectors are uh, in this power supply and they're non-modular. So if you have a modular power supply I assume you're going to have to plug in your uh, 24 pin in and you're going to have to do this step by step. So um, what you guys can see here is probably some electrical tape on top so I just did that to be safe. So what I've got here is all you want to do is, it's super easy, you want to grab a pin or connector or something like that, something metal, uh, steel obviously, not aluminium or aluminium as you, as you guys say sometimes. Um, you want to grab this thing, if you guys can see that there, so this is like, you can grab like something like a paper clip, if you guys can see that, I'll just zoom it in for you guys. If you guys can see that there, see? It's got the two steel ends and it's actually insulated, so I actually got this from a tie-down from uh, something that I bought, so I just stripped the two ends and it had steel inside it, so that's going to work. Also a paper clip will probably work if you just bend it out, but I like this guy because it's uh, already sheathed and I'm not going to be uh, at risk to anything. So I'm going to go over here and zoom this guy in to show you guys how to do it. Okay. So make sure, of course, first of all, make sure your power supply is off, in the off position, make sure it's unplugged. Actually, unplug everything in the room, to be honest, just to be careful and safe. Well, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, obviously, you come here to your 24-pin power supply connector, and all you want to do here is you want to find the green connector. Find your green connector right here. You find your green connector right there. And then, well, use the black one next to it, the black cable. Now apparently you can use these black, three, three black cables as well, but uh, for me, it just worked for the one next to it, so I'd probably recommend just doing the green and black. So the green for me is this one here. So you guys can see that one there. It's this one here. There. So I'm gonna plug it into the green one up top. Just make sure it's in the green one. That and make sure it's having contact and no contact with the other ones and the other side so you just want to put it in the black one right next to it so the green and the black one make sure it doesn't pop out like it is for me because that's not good that's why I had put electrical tape make sure it's nice and stiff in there and make sure when I say the black one next to it I mean the black one to the left I believe so you can see this green one for example here if you guys can see that green one r right here, I mean this one right next to it, to the left. So that's it for me, so if you guys can see that here, it corresponds. So the green one is up here, and the black one is right there. So super easy, super simple. I'll show them the video down, uh, so you guys can see that really quickly. So now, um, you're going to test it out. So just be careful, get your power supply plugged in. And I'll be back in one second. Alright, so at this point I want you to triple check that everything is turned off. Uh, make sure your power supply is off right here. And uh, make sure it's unplugged. So just triple check again. Here, make sure the green is plugged into the black. And it's uh, done properly, if you guys can see that there. Make sure it's just triple check that it corresponds to the right socket at the top. Make sure, just ensure that. Cool. Uh, so I've checked mine up, so I'm going to plug in my power supply now. So it's going to plug in the power supply here. I'm going to switch it on. And if you guys can see that here, 
the power supply is on. So as soon as the, p the switch is turned on, the power supply is now turned on. If you guys can see that turned on right there. So I'll switch it off again. Takes a little while to turn off. Now I'm going to turn it on again. There we go. So as you can see, the jumper cable has worked. Um, make sure if you're going to touch the cables again, make sure the power supply is all turned off. And you unplug it. Plug it here, and cool. So you can see this jumper has actually worked for me pretty well. This so can be really beneficial when you're when you have stuff like a external graphics card, and uh, like you have a a jumper. I have a PCIe 16x riser that can be really useful. I've got this HP desktop here. That's what I'm using it for. So that's why I was going to use an RX 580, but I ended up couldn't because the power draw was too high. So you just be careful when you're doing stuff like this. But uh, it was all safe because it actually overdrew. So nothing happened at all. So it was fine in the end. Uh, nothing happened at all. So all I did was plug in a GDX 1050 into the computer and it was working fine. So uh, yeah, just again, uh, for this guy as well. So I'd recommend getting some electrical tape or something like that. And uh, just putting it over so you don't get, uh, you can't touch it at all, and it's all secure. And so I'm just gonna show you some electrical tape here, and I'm just gonna put it over, just so everything is safe. I'm gonna cut a piece of electrical tape here. I'm just gonna stick it on here. So I'm just gonna stick one side on. I'm gonna make sure it's not touching anything. I'm just gonna groove it around one like that, and then put the other side like that, and make sure it's all tied in. So nothing can move. I'll put on another piece of electrical tape in a second. So now I know that everything is secure. So let's just try it again with the electrical tape and see if it's working. Yep. So it's all tied in and all working. So yeah, that about sums up the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys read the disclaimer for this video. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not responsible for anything you do. Uh, <laughs> there's that. So uh, not an expert or anything like that. So. Take this at your own risk again. And uh, yeah, make sure you're going to check out Lies Tech Log, Quillace Post, reviews, tutorials, just like this one, and much more every Wednesday. I'll see you guys there on WiseTech.org. But other than that, make sure you go and check out twitch.tv slash bazidio for the latest streams. Hopefully, I'll be streaming soon again. I really want to. But other than that, yeah, make sure you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.